Okay, uh, we're talking about maintenance and things that needs to be done. If you look, this bolt and these bolts that hold the wood are loose and they're going to come out eventually. So uh, let's go ahead and tighten them. Uh, I tighten this bolt and to make sure it doesn't get loose again I put a little bit of uh, silicone on it uh, cheaper than uh, Loctite but it will do the work and uh, let's go see what else we done that saved us some money uh, today's lesson is how to save some money so we're gonna start from inside the truck and things that can save you some hassle and time is uh, we have painted this area green the reason we did it for green uh, or any color is so we can match it with the nose as we back up and then when you back up you can uh, line the ball better so that's one of the idea here uh, make sure you use uh, a bungee cord so this doesn't be uh, uh, because when this is hanging as you go through ramps it, uh, it can hit the strike the ground and it will bend I'm not gonna sh tell you how I learned that but just simple bungee cord will keep it out of the harm's way and now less chance of uh, getting damaged if you look over here I use marine grease which is green on the shaft and uh, put it on your hand don't be scared and do a good dose on the shaft the whole shaft has a marine grease on it and uh, what it does is it will stop it from uh, sticking this jack will last at least five times longer if you do that so Let's put this bungee cord back on. Any high will go. It's fine. When you buy a bungee cord, make sure you get the one with the plastic, not metal. The metal ones will cause uh, more rust if you use it in a boat. So your boat may have rust on it. Um, next thing that is a good idea is um, we go to the fender. Uh, your fender right here does not need to be replaced because if you got a crack right here if you put a hole on it a drill a hole on it it will stop it from going further this was done about 10 years ago so we didn't replace the fender here's another one and uh, probably the other fender needs to be replaced as well yeah you see these holes prevented from going further now if we go to the cowling this cowling at one time moved forward because I lost control of it on its own because uh, moisture got on one of the old switches and the switches work on I think on two volts the trim switch and a little moisture activated the motor and anyway bottom line we got cracks and I stopped it by putting holes on the cowling so here it is here it is this was done over a year ago and the crack did not go any further so th there was a crack right here I wanted to stop the crack put a hole there hold there hold there that's why airplane windows are round and not square there's a reason because they can handle stress and uh, that's a stress relief hole then uh, if you go to the seat fishing line is a good idea for repairs because if you look right here this button is not there anymore it's corroded but I tied it with a fishing line about 10 years ago it's still holding now I keep it inside here's uh, again tight what you do is use a big needle and use a plier use the pliers to push it through because this thing is thick and you need a bigger needle uh, not the regular you know so anyway and use the pliers 
hold the needle with the pliers and push it through. Uh, all you have to go a couple of rounds and this has lasted 10 years so far. And this is original by the way. Uh, let me see what else we done here. Uh, mm, that sums it up I think. So, oh, most important part. The most important part I forgot. All right. After you wash your engine and clean your engine, make sure your engine is down like this. If you're in a storage, uh, you can uh, dig a hole. If it's a dirt storage, if uh, that is not possible, uh, when it's time to change your axle, yes, you do have to change axle. Sometimes if you go with a bigger axle, it will raise it high enough. This particular axle was uh, improved and beefed up and once I made the axle thicker, the motor got raised. And why do you want to do that? Hmm. Because if you leave it, if you leave it like everybody else, the newbies, in an angled position, what happens is uh, the water gets trapped. The water gets trapped right here. It will be it's tilted, so it gets trapped right here. And that little uh, rust that you, little uh, salt that is in the water, will eventually destroy your boat. And um, most of the damages are done really while the boat is in the storage, because you go out in the water for eight hours or 10 hours and that's all and then next time you go out is about a month or two or a week or two depending who you are most people a month um, then that little tiny 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 rust will just I mean salt will sit there and corrode your uh, aluminum yes aluminums do corrode so anyway another thing is when you wash your engine this is your shifter right here the shifter needs to be greased, okay, and washed. So make sure you wash that area as well. Right where I'm pointing, that's where your shifter is. Lube and wash. Not all the time, but keep an eye on it. Otherwise, your shifting will be, from reverse to forward, will be a problem. Uh, another thing that you, you probably know is don't forget to lube here. Uh, very important. And... You got some loop points right here on the steering. Look for the nipples, uh, grease nipples that needs to be looped. And then one that everybody forgets inside the cowling, inside, uh, I think you have to take this skirt off. There's a video that shows you how to take this skirt off. All it is, these eight millimeter bolts right here, about one, two, three, four, about eight of them has to come out. And uh, there's a nipple inside, grease nipple that is, uh, that needs to be lubed at least probably once every 200 hours maybe. So if you don't have 200 hours, don't worry about it. Uh, but the biggest saving was that if you keep your motor down like this, uh, all the water will drain. You might see some water come out right now, even though I'm having a problem. I'm, that's one of the repairs I got to do. If you notice it moving slow, and I got to go fix that problem, which is going to be another video all by itself. So, did we get any water out of it? No, because uh, it's been up and down about three, four times already. But normally, if you did that, <laughs> water will come out. And... Um, some of it is because it's in the impeller, some because it's stuck up there on the top. So anyway, good day. I hope that saved you some money. If you like this video, make sure you support the video and subscribe. We need your support. Talk to you later. Hey, it's another day and we finished the project, but I forgot to ask you to subscribe. So I'm asking you to subscribe or press like whichever you like, uh, up to you.
but that will get us to uh, motivate us to create more content. Always look back to the creators if you like them. So y'all have a great day and we see you on the next project.